We'll start off with a really, really easy question. Yeah. What type of books do you read? Oh, what sort of books do I read? Um, kind of all kinds of books, really. I, I don't have any particular sort of um, uh, particular kind of genre. Um, I, I tend to read mostly fact books, actually, um, non-fiction, just because I know that stories are real and there's not an, an author there trying to pull the wool over my eyes. Because um, I sometimes I sometimes get a bit suspicious when I'm reading fiction. And I go, I know why you've introduced this character on page nine. Um, so I know all the tricks. So it's, it's, it becomes harder. Books become harder when you're an author because you know all those little sneaky tricks that, that we do, you see. Yeah. Hmm. How do you find inspiration for your own characters? Oh, inspiration um, is from everywhere, really. You just sort of look around and you only have to open the newspaper or something that somebody says or something that somebody doesn't say, which is almost as important. Um, you ju just look around, really. There's so many things going on. And, and even if there's nothing exciting going on, then you just take two unexciting ideas and then put them together and, and bing, you have this new exciting idea where there wasn't one before. Um, how would you describe your writing process? Um, writing process? Um, ooh, it's like, so I don't know, really. Um, I think sort of um, it, I, I try and get uh, as much sort of wordage down on the page as I can, and then I started sort of so then I start kind of manipulating it and thinking, oh, that works quite well. And then it's it's a, it's a sort of um, I think it's kind of constant uh, constant improvement, really. You just start off with a paragraph, and then you just sort of start working on it. Um, and that's you know I don't have any pl plan really when I'm writing. I wish I did. You know I could write a lot quicker, but I don't seem to work that way. Do you ever get writer's block, and how do you get past it? Writer's block? No, no. Actually, writer's block doesn't exist. Uh, no, no, it doesn't. No, it's complete nonsense. Um, when a writer says they have writer's block, it actually means that they'd rather be doing something else. Um, so it's just... Um, I mean, you don't... You know, if you're a plumber, you don't have plumber's block, do you? You don't come in in the morning and go, Oh, I can't do heating. I just don't feel like... It's just not in me. I need the muse, you know. It just doesn't happen. So <coughs> I think it's nonsense. And, it, and, it, and because I think um, authors... Um, Authors, actors, um, and sort of mu musicians, perhaps less so, poets more, uh, talk more nonsense about what they do as a profession than any other profession. You know, I think, I think you know, people like electrician and plumbers ought to talk more nonsense about their profession, you know, um, as, as we do. Um, do you like to read reviews of your own books, and how would you deal with coming across a bad review? Uh, well, I've never come across a bad... No, actually, I have. <laughs> um, uh, I, I tend to avoid it, actually. Um, I, it's because you can read a hundred really nice reviews, and you go, oh, everyone loves me, and the world's wonderful. And then you read one sort of slightly sniffy review, and then, of course, it's, it's all you're thinking about for weeks, or it is with me, you know. Um, so I, I tend to just really avoid them, really, and, and certainly avoid listening to myself and, and watching myself on TV. That's, that's very, very annoying. Mm. Um, you've been compared to authors like Terry Pratchett and Douglas Adams. Are you inspired by them or any particular authors or books? Um, yeah, I mean, inspiration comes from everywhere and not, not just authors. I mean, it's always nice to be, it's always nice to be compared to, you know, you know top-class top authors like that. Um, uh, I, I must say, I, I, I am hugely respectful of Terry's work, but I haven't read a lot of him, I have to say. Um, but I, uh, Douglas Adams, of course, I have read a great deal. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, I just sort of... Um, I think it's extraordinary that if you can get something really on the page, really. Um, but, uh, no, I'm mean hugely, uh, uh, hugely impressed by authors like that. But really, it's everywhere. Inspiration comes from everywhere. You know. um, was reading important to you when you were growing up? Reading, yes. Uh, very, very uh, important, actually. Um, as it is to, er to everyone, I think. Um, yeah, I kind of vaguely think I can remember when I first read. And I think reading is like is kind of like walking and riding a bicycle uh, and ultimately getting your driving licence because it, um, it opens huge horizons for one. I think reading probably uh, the biggest. Um, but we can never remember learning to walk, you see, so that particular excitement um, you, you forget. But I think learning to read is astonishing because it really does open a very much bigger world. And I can remember um, learning to read, uh, and then also remember that, of course, the first 40 or 50 books you read, you've been told to read. So once you have the choice to read something, of course, that's, that's an amazing thing. And I remember reading, um, going to my parents' library and actually choosing a book to read. And my parents, uh, my father was an economist, so he had very, very boring books. Um, but um, they did have a copy of Alice in Wonderland. I remember taking that out and reading it, and then reading it again. It was very exciting because I kind of vaguely understood it and it had chapters, so it was wonderful. So um, yeah, reading, yes, hugely important and very exciting. Was there a sort of pivotal moment when you decided you want to be a writer or was it something you'd always wanted to do? 
Ooh, yeah, um, tricky one. Um, I think it's something I've always kind of vaguely wanted to do. Um, I think I've always been interested in, in story, and I always think of story as encompassing all stories, not just writing. I tend to regard sort of, you know, writing and theatre and movies and TV as really all part of the same thing. They're all branches on the same tree. Um, people separate them, but I don't think that's, that's true. Um, and I spent nearly 20 years in the film industry because um, I thought that was where, you know, that's uh, how I understood story. And it wasn't until I was in my late 20s when I sort of realised that you didn't have to have letters after your name to be an author. That I, that I started writing stories of my own. And it, it took a long time. It was about um, 10, 10, 11 years to get published and, and seven books. But I got there eventually. But it was always a hobby. Make, make your obsession into a profession. It's always good advice, isn't it? Find out what you really, really like doing and then just um, find a way to get paid for it. Simple. You know. Has there been any negative response to the way that you portray already existing fictional characters? Oh, yeah. Um, uh, not really, actually. I mean, I, I thought there might be, which was why I took great pains to, to try and be uh, sort of true to the spirit of the books that I, I, I use. Um, I, I've, I've met people who have um, doctorates, who've done a, studied PhDs about um, Jane Eyre and, um, and Charlotte Bronte, and they were delighted with what I was doing, really just bringing it to a broad audience. So I, I've had real no complaints. I think I had one snotty email, actually, um, which I, I, I wrote back and said, uh, oh, thank you very much for your uh, insights. And I'd also you know, you're the first hate email I've ever had. And then I had a whole procession of, of emails after that where he declaimed that it wasn't a hate email at all. Um, it was just the loyal opposition, as he put it. But um, his language was fairly robust, so I, I considered it hate. Anyway, it really annoyed him, so I, I, I did the right thing. Um, are there references in Thurs the Thursday Next series to famous fictional characters from books that are like one of your favourites? Oh, favourite books. Um, I don't know. We were always when I grew up, we were always very um, a sort of uh, a sort of a three men in a boat uh, sort of diary of a nobody kind of family because they were books that everybody read. They were on the sort of Ford reading list. So so you know, my dad, I could sort of like converse with my dad because as I said, he used to read very boring economics books. But there were, were, there were several books, uh, fictional, uh, usually amusing books, that he knew very well as well. So, so there were several that we used to all read so that we could all sort of speak the same language over the dinner table, which is kind of useful, really. Um, so I think there was the, those kind of favourite books, I suppose. But um, uh, Three Men in a Boat is still a, a, very, a very good book, very funny. It makes me laugh even now. It shows how sad I am, really, doesn't it? <laughs> um, was there a particular reason you chose to make Thursday Next a Woman, and do you find it like difficult to write from the other gender's perspective. Ah, right. Um, well, I, I'd written two books before I started the Air Affair, and they both had male a male protagonist. They were the um, the nursery crime series. I wrote those first. Um, uh, and when I when I was writing a, a new idea, um, uh, I've I've found that in fact in the nursery crime books, I was more interested in the female characters. Um, there was um, Mary Mary. Uh, and Madeline Spratt, who's Jack Spratt's um, wife, and they were they were much more interesting. So I thought, oh well, I'll make the next book with a female protagonist. Why not? And it used to be in third person, um, but I really wasn't getting to the character, so I, I changed it to first person. And it wasn't until about um, two years after publication that someone asked that very same question, and I went, oh yes, I did, didn't I? Um, and uh, no, I mean all writing is is observation, isn't it? So you just sort of just sort of try and pretend. I mean there are some areas of which I wouldn't sort of try to tread, but um, for the most part, you know. You just sort of think about, you know, how people would do things and, and create your own idea of, of how, how it should be. But um, does it work? I don't know. How do you, is it, sort of, it does work? Yeah? Oh, okay, well, there you go. Phew! Phew, got away with that. Yeah. So that's you just pretend. It's all pretending. It's like being an actor, just pretending. Only you do it with, with ink. <laughs>